does the silly speed rating found on memory cards have to do with how photographers can make money with ProShow? Well, they're both in this video clip. Let's go ahead and create a show. I'm going to choose a background here, click next, and then I want to add in a kind of an unusual video. Take a look here. This is a piece of video we shot of some kids on the beach in California, but this video is 36 seconds long. Well, our goal when it comes to pictures that move is to tell our story in the shortest amount of time possible. So I don't think this video needs to be 36 seconds long. So I'm going to click on the editor and take a look at this. I can select my in point where my video is going to start. I can select my out point where my video ends and it calculates the time of that piece of video because the shorter the better. So once I've got this video set where I want to go, I can just go ahead and add a really cool drop-in effect that I can just drag right on top there, and that'll give me the dissolve that I'm looking for. It's going to dissolve in and dissolve back out. And finally, I can add some text if I want to, too. And go ahead and hit the next button. Don't you like that? It goes previous or next, whichever direction you want to go. And when you're ready to go, you just go ahead and click the make video button, and off it goes. takes five, six, seven minutes, of course, depending on how long your piece is. But what can you do with ProShow, ProShow Web? Wow, professional photographer Suzette Allen does some crazy good things with this. Take a look. Wow, imagine if that was your daughter or your niece. Wouldn't you love to be able to share that picture that moves? That's what she sells, right? That's the product that she makes, all with Pro Show. Neat stuff, right? Memory cards are simple little storage boxes that can make your life miserable if they get mad at you. Here's how to keep memory cards happy. The SD cards, like most style of memory cards, have a capacity and a speed rating. Some card manufacturers like to fudge a little bit on their speed info. Actually, uh, some of them fudge a lot on their speed info, but they do want to make you think that you need some gold-plated, super-fast, certified card. You probably don't. Most of that is just marketing hype. The more video that you shoot, the quicker you're going to fill up a card. So for shooting HD video, start with the 8 gig size card and work yourself up to the 16 gig cards. Skip the 4 gig and smaller. But as cards get bigger, plan on spending more money on cards. The speed of the card is really important. If it's too slow for reading and writing the data of your video inside your camera, it'll cause big problems. So you'll find a speed class number on most SD cards. Now there's a ton of marketing nonsense surrounding these speed numbers, but here's the truth. If you shoot HD on your camera in the 720 size, use a card with a speed rating of 6 or higher. It'll be fine. Now if you choose to shoot the chubby and luxurious 1080 HD, move up to a speed class of 8 or faster on your cards. Ready for the best tips ever on memory cards? Cool. Brand? Doesn't matter. Just speed rating and size. When you buy a new memory card, put it in the camera you're going to use it in. Then, 
Use the format function in your camera setup menu to fully erase the card and get it ready for accepting data from that camera. Use your owner's manual or Google to find out how to format a card in your camera. Never pull a card out of one camera and put it into another camera and then shoot on that. It's going to be a formula for disaster. If you want to use a card from this camera in this camera, be sure to take all the images off it first. Then format that card, you get it here, into the second camera. It'll be just fine. If your card gets wet, no problem. Simply press it into a clean towel or a thick paper towel and let it air dry for six hours or so. Don't use heat to speed up the process. Do not use a hair dryer. Don't use a lighter. Don't stick it on a light bulb. Just chill out. Don't shoot until your card gets full and then take your card out and put it in a little teeny storage rack to keep your pictures on. That's a bad idea. Plan on using, then reusing your cards until you wear them out or you lose them like the rest of us do. Transfer the files from your card to a hard drive or to a computer or to an online storage system or through some sort of fancy software. Just don't store your photos and video files on SD cards. Bad idea. Pretty good information, right? All of it works well with any of the ProShow products. More information like what you just saw on this DVD, available at these websites. <laughs>